All right, I want to address something uh, that a user or a subscriber on Oscar's page says. Uh, this is Fearless Pharaoh. He says, I'm still holding, but it's not going anywhere. AMP is not going to go anywhere, specifically until Wells quit taking it down when it hits six cents. Day traders, losers are also hitting this hard too. Shakeouts are going to be the norm. Wow, I couldn't have said it more offensive. Okay, I couldn't have said it better. Like uh, somebody says, uh, seems like six cents might be the new floor for AMP until the bull cycle ends. All right, so <clears throat> let me address what the first brother says, Fearless Pharaoh, uh, about it not going anywhere until the whales quit taking it down when it hits six cents and the day traders. Let me throw them under the bus as well. We're gonna come over here, right here. Like, okay, as you can see, <clears throat> The other day, AMP was pumping, man. It was doing pretty good. And, you know, it, it looked like it was on its way, right? And then, bow, you know what I'm saying? Right back down to 0 0.5. And then it's just hovering around six cents. It's been hovering around six cents. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, okay. So uh, this is the high right here, 10 cent. And that was all the way back in June. All right, all the way back in June. But then, like, after that, that's just it. That's just it. It's just been around six cents. Like, every now and then, it'll go around to seven. And the reason he's saying he's saying that because whales are hopping in and hopping out, hopping in, hopping out, and flushing the damn system, and so are the day traders. That's why I said don't be a, a, a daily chart watcher. Uh, you know, I come over here and I show you guys the charts as demonstration of how they can move uh, uh, for what's going on behind the scenes. And when I say behind the scenes, I'm talking about uh, this stuff right here. Okay, let's go to the docs. I'm talking about the white paper. I'm talking about the roadmaps, okay? The white paper and the roadmap and the real world use cases, okay? So this is what the key is, okay? This is the key to everything you need to make sure when you are investing into a cryptocurrency so you, you can stake amp and all of that you guys already know that but the roadmaps and the white paper you need to pay attention to in the real world use cases you need to pay attention to you need to make sure that when you're investing into any uh cryptocurrency or projects period even if you were doing with like a startup or something you want to make sure that uh they are following the roadmap you know, like for instance, AMP token, ACH, uh, a lot of the digital payments cryptocurrencies, they do big partnerships. So when they say that they're gonna do these partnerships, you need to be checking, are they actually following through with these partnerships and, and everything like that. But that's not the only thing that's gonna pump it over here. You see why they retweeted over there on Twitter on the Flexa side, um, people are spending using the spending app and, and all of that because they're trying to give you guys clues that none of these cryptocurrencies mean anything until you start spending them. You can you can hold them, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, you know, you wanna hold a percentage of them, yes. Holding does show a little bit of value, you know what I'm saying? You hold it, you hold something close, you know what I'm saying, that's dear to you, but also you use something that is important to you. You use money, real world currency. Currency was made to be spent on things that are valuable. Like the cash is only valuable. The dollar is only valuable because people use it every single damn day. All right, so listen guys, until we start using these cryptocurrencies, they're just, they're just a fluff piece and people are thinking that they're just gonna pass away one day and it's just gonna be some long drawn out phase. But if we start using these cryptocurrencies, you know what I'm saying, start looking up, you know, uh, not Fiverr, I meant to go to Google. We start looking at uh, where flex of payments accepted. You can use the speed nap. It's a video where the dude was going through, um, um, <laughs> he was going through Dunkin' Donuts and he paid with the speed and nap. You know what I'm saying? Like, check it out. Like it's is literally 40,000 something places that you can use uh, the speeding app and you can pay with Flexa pay and all of that and AMP token 
And look, guys, you have to make a move. Soon, Amazon is going to take Flex on. Soon it will, because they already have it at Whole Foods. It's only a matter of time. I believe that they're waiting for more of this. I believe Amazon is waiting for more of you guys, the community, to start using your community tokens. Because guess what? If they change their own their whole payment infrastructure to, and infrastructure to include uh, crypto payments, and you guys don't spend any of your crypto on the site, then it just makes it like useless. You know how much it costs to start changing infrastructures uh, and, and systems and stuff on a website like Amazon. You know what I'm saying? They got the money, but like, who really wants to do that if people are just going to be uh, uh, buying a dip and then just trading and swapping all the damn time, okay? You have to actually start using these currencies to prove their worth, all right? I love you guys. See you in the next one.